So when I learned about ListenWise a few years ago, I knew I wanted it for my students um, because talk about merging two things, two loves into one platform, teaching and public radio, right? So that was like the selling bit for me. And last year, while I attended a webinar such as this one, I learned that because of catch up and a free trial, I thought, hey, maybe I can use this with my second graders. So not so much catch up per se, but more like weird news, a weird news story called um, the Ketchup Thief, which is like a 20 or 30 second story on the Listen Wise platform about someone who felt guilty about stealing ketchup. So my students, they loved it. Before introducing the podcast, we front load some vocabulary. We engaged in some pre-lesson discussion about whether or not they ever felt guilty um, about taking something or doing something wrong. Um, and you'd be surprised at how much guilt some second grade graders carry, you know, taking the extra cookie, cutting in line, poking their sibling on purpose. And then, you know, after we, we did that discussion, I was able to tailor using the platform um, comprehensions to, you know, align to their proficiency level. Um, and they could hear the story however many times they wanted. They could talk with me about it. They can talk with a peer about it and respond to the questions as best as they could. So it was really, really cool. So recently I attended a PLC meeting with Emily Francis. And if you know her on Twitter, it's at Emily Fran ESL and she's amazing. Um, she had a guest speaker. Um, his name was John Nordmeyer from WIDA, and he spoke about the interdependence of language and content. So yes, shout out to Emily. Um, so um, language for multilingual learners is learning English, and in our case, as a new language, and content is learning you know, the ELA, the social studies, the math, and the science. So also in a new language, English. But he emphasized that the importance of treating both together rather than separate is central to our work. So in our work, one depends on the other. And he also said that evening, and this was just last week, that it's also important to shift the, these 20th century paradigms of working in isolation. And I know some of us may work still in isolation, but we need to start reframing that within ourselves into more of a 21st century paradigm, as he calls it, into working collaboratively. So I don't know about you, but it is difficult to cope planning um, with teachers in general education. Like we, if, especially like Crystal, I also am the only K to five ESL teacher in my building. How are we gonna find time to do this? It's hard, but thanks to John Nordmeyer, I learned that I still can. How? By finding ways to weave it into my, into my context. So for instance, with my ESL group, I know that they're going to learn certain things. So with my fifth graders, they're going to learn about the Civil War, the Industrial Revolution. They're going to have to do a TED Talk this year about a UN sustainability goal. And guess what? ListenWise has ELD lessons that target these themes, and ListenWise can become a source of research for my students. And that's exactly what happened. The TED Talk just happened last week. They did it on zero hunger. There were a couple articles about food, um, scarcity, food desert, things like that on the ListenWise platform. So even though I can't collaborate or co-teach with general ed teachers directly or in person, I can do so from a distance with ListenWise. So in this way, in my world, I have found opportunities to weave the platform into my sphere of influence in the benefit of my multilingual learners, one of my students, um, we've discovered that they love the platform. And mind you, I've only used it this school year. My previous second graders became third graders. So with my third graders and my fifth graders, I've been able to use it. And I do have a newcomer um, who arrived just a few months ago from Cuba. And he loves that he can access. He arrived with a very high level of proficiency in his home language. And he loves that he can access the transcripts in Spanish, which is a wonderful equity feature in ListenWise. And you know, we will print out the transcripts for everybody in English and in Spanish. And depending on the skills that they need to develop, whether it's reading aloud, annotating, taking notes, you know, which are things that they have to learn as they get, you know, older um, and, and become, you know, stronger academics. Um, depending on what skills you're looking to develop, there's just so much you can do with Listen Wise. So I'm grateful to have um, a license this year. I'm hoping I'll have access to funding for next year so I can renew it and continue finding ways of exploiting this to my benefit.